my husband and I are ceramic artists. We both started uh, in pottery in the 80s, and we both have very specific talents. Um, my husband, Paul, is more talented on the potter's wheel. And then I do all of the hand building, adding uh, handles, adding trees to the pieces. I'm inspired a lot by nature. I love to do a lot of animals, trees, leaves, fish. Tanya and I have something we call potter's time because when you're busy and you're involved and you're immersed in your work, you, you forget and you lose track of the time. It could be a three hour piece or it could be pieces that we've spent 50 or 60 hours on. I know that I've created over 30,000 pieces on a potter's wheel now in the last 20 years and while I'm creating it is the most gratifying part of the process. I learn from the clay how to attach, for instance, a handle on a piece or how something is going to hang on the wall balanced. I know really from trial and error what that clay will do. So these are things that just come with years of experience. Working with the material, you know what that material will and won't do. I love creating the pieces on the wheel. It's, it's wonderful to be recognized and to be able to do, create something with your own hands and then have somebody interested that wants to buy that from you. Um, and that, I think, is what helps to feed the energy to make you want to do more. It's nice when people come in, they start looking at the pottery. I'll hear them say, I love your colors, I love the shapes. I know then that they really appreciate what we do. They get it. Those are the kind of things that make me feel good when I'm in the gallery talking about Paul and I's work. As we evolved uh, and our business evolved from making bowls and platters, we had to reinvent ourselves. And when a local brewing company challenged me to see if I could make a, a, a growler with a flip top on it, it took me a few prototypes to figure it out. But very shortly thereafter, we realized that we had a hit on our hands. It was exciting. It, it's sort of a double sword because on one hand, all the dedication and time that went into that piece, I want to keep sometimes, but, and then when it's gone, you'll never see that piece again, but it's what I learned from that piece that I take with me to the next project or to the next piece that I do, and that's what feeds my energy to want to go back and make more uh, because of the reward I get from seeing the completion of my work. We really feed off of one another's talents. That's what's really, I guess, kept us going here for 20 years. Uh, our love of the art, um, it's, it's what we do. I don't know what we would do if we weren't in the clay.